I was a guy that really just floated under the radar for so long and um, could just go out there and play basketball, you know, without people critiquing me or saying all these different things. We don't play in the biggest market. We don't play on TV every night. I knew I had the opportunity to have the biggest contract ever. As soon as I signed this deal, it's going to just turn the NBA upside down, thinking like, man, all I got to do is not sign the contract and sign somewhere else and take less money. Uh, I was in some of the best shape of my life. And slowly I start feeling my heels start to get sore. And the next game comes, it's even worse. And by, you know, game six or seven, I'm barely moving. Really, I'm out there playing on one leg and people are still relying on me to do what I normally do. So it was the first year of my life I didn't play basketball. It was a true depressing feeling. Like it felt like I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to move. I didn't want to see anybody. I wouldn't talk to my wife. Being in your 12th year and having that kind of feeling, you don't get that to re you don't get that reboot reset i'm 30 years old and be my 12th season in the league we all want to win championships we all want to be all-stars and there were some years where i felt like i really did everything i was supposed to do is it because of you know the market i'm in is it because that i'm not loud and flamboyant do i need to get a technical <laughs> you know do i gotta do i gotta yell at a ref but at the end of the day if i went 16 years being who I am and not wavering from that, then I'm happy 